हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एडवांस्ड माइक्रो फैसिलिटीज इन माइक्रो लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द एडवांस्ड माइक्रो फैसिलिटीज बेसिकली द एडवांस माइक्रो फैसिलिटीज सपोर्ट द सीमेंटिक एक्सपांशन एंड दीज फैसिलिटीज आर ग्रुप इन टू थ्री फर्स्ट वन इज द फैसिलिटीज फॉर अल्ट्रेशन ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ कंट्रोल ड्यूरिंग द एक्सपांशन सेकेंड वन इज द एक्सपांशन टाइम वेरिएबल्स एंड द थर्ड वन इज द एट्रीब्यूट्स ऑफ पैरामीटर्स सो इन दिस सेशन वी सी फर्स्ट टू एडवांस्ड माइक्रो फैसिलिटीज द फर्स्ट वन इज द अल्ट्रेशन ऑफ द फ्लो ऑफ कंट्रोल ड्यूरिंग द एक्सपांशन सो इट प्रोवाइड्स द टू फीचर्स टू फैसिलेट द अल्ट्रेशन ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ कंट्रोल ड्यूरिंग द एक्सपांशन फर्स्ट वन इज द एक्सपांशन टाइम सिक्वेंसिंग सिम्बॉल एंड द सेकेंड वन इज द एक्सपांशन टाइम स्टेटमेंट्स ए आई एफ ए जी ओ एंड ए एनओ पी नो हियर फर्स्ट वी सी द एक्सपांशन टाइम सिक्वेंसिंग सिम्बॉल एक्सपांशन टाइम हियर अ सिक्वेंसिंग सिम्बॉल हैज द सिम टैक्स सो इट इज राइटिंग ओनली सिम्पली एंड ऑर्डिनरी स्ट्रिंग a sequencing symbol is defined by putting in the label field of the statement in the micro body so basically the sequencing symbol it is used as an operand in the aif or the ago to designate the destination of an expansion time control transfer so this is in this way you use the sequencing symbol now next we see the expansion time statement first one is the aif an aif statement has the syntax aif next we specify the expression and next we specify the sequencing symbol so here expression is the relational expression each consisting of ordinary strings formal parameters with their attributes and the expansion time variables if the given expression is evaluates to true then expansion time control is transferred to the statement that is containing the sequencing symbol in its label field we see the example so here the name of the micro is dcl const it is and it is having only single parameter ampersand a now next we use the aif statement aif l ampersand a eq1 dot next so here l is what it is the attributes of the formal parameters now next we see the syntax of how we define the formal attributes of the formal parameters so the syntax is first of all we have to mention the attribute name and next we have to specify the formal parameter specification so here the attribute names is having the different names so it is represented in the form type length and size so for the if uh, for the type we use the t for the length we use the l and for the size we use the s so here we specify the attribute name as a l means what here we check the length so next statement we specify it is a ampersand a eq1 if this condition is true then the control is transferred to the sequencing symbol next when the control is transferred to the sequencing symbol next when a is having the length equal to 1 then in that case only the control is transferred to the next sequencing symbol now next statement we see the ago statement so the ago statement has the syntax first of all we specify ago and next we specify the sequencing symbol so basically ago statement it unconditionally transfer the expansion time control to the statement that is containing the sequencing symbol in its label field here ago is what it is a unconditionally transfer the control to the statement that is containing the sequencing symbol in its label field now, now next we see the example so here the name of the micro is eval it is having the three parameters ampersand x ampersand y and ampersand z next statement is the aif so here we specify the condition ampersand y eq ampersand x if the given condition is true if the given relation is true then the control is transferred to the sequencing symbol only otherwise the control is transferred to the next statement move r after that the next statement will be executed sub and next will be executed add then the control is transferred to the ago statement so ago is what it is unconditionally here the condition is not checked so the the control is transferred to the sequencing symbol over so in the over we specify the micro end statement so here the aif is a conditional expansion and here the ago is the unconditional expansion so it here the ago statement transfer the control to the statement sequencing symbol unconditionally unconditionally means here the condition is not checked now the next statement is the a anop 
so the syntax of declaring the ANOP is sequencing symbol and next we specify the ANOP so basically the ANOP statement has the effect of defining the sequencing symbol only it simply defining the sequencing symbol no operation is carried out by the ANOP instruction instead of that if there is a branch is there so that the branch is taken to the ANOP instruction then the assembler is processed the next sequential instruction in the given micro definition so here the name of the micro is the create const it is having the two parameters ampersand x and ampersand y next we use the AIF statement and here we specify the a condition t ampersand x eq b means here here we check the type of x and b if the both having the same type then the control is transferred to the byte otherwise the next statement is executed now here you can see the ANOP statement is there but before that we specify the sequencing symbol so the name of that sequencing symbol is byte and there is a ANOP statement so here the control is transferred immediately to the next statement for the during the execution now next we see the expansion time variables so this is the second advanced micro facility so the expansion time variables are nothing but these are the variables which can only be used during the expansion of micro calls so there are two types of the expansion time variables are there first one is the local expansion time variable and the second one is the global expansion time variable so the local expansion time variable we see the simple example how we declared the local expansion time variable so we use the word lcl and next we specify the variable name so here we specify ampersand a so here it creates the local variable a now next we see the global expansion time variable for the creating the global expansion time variable we use the word gbl and after that we specify the variable name so here we specify ampersand a so it creates the global variable a now next we see in detail first of all we see local expansion time variables so the basically the local expansion time variables can be used only within the one micro and it does not retain its value across the micro call now next we see the syntax of how we create the local variable so the syntax of creating the local expansion time variable is we specify the word lcl and after that we specify the ev specification now next we see the global expansion time variables so the global expansion time variables can be used in every micro definition that has a declaration for it and it retains its value across the micro call now next we see the syntax of creating the global expansion time variable so here we use the word gpl and after that we specify the ev specification so so here the ev specification has a syntax ampersand ev name where ev name is nothing but it is simply an ordinary string the values of the expansion time variables can be manipulated through the preprocessor statement set the syntax we see here the syntax of writing the set statement is ev specification set set expression so here the set statement is assigning the whatever the value specified in the set expression to the ev that is specified in the ev specification now next we see the example so here the name of the micro is const and the here the next statement is lcl ampersand a means here it creates the local variable a now the next statement is the set statement ampersand a set 1 so here the set statement assigns the value 1 to the local variable a now the next statement executed db ampersand a after that there is again a set statement is there ampersand a set ampersand a plus 1 so already a is having the value 1 so and 1 plus 1 the value is 2 so here the set statement assign the value 2 to the local variable a after that the db statement will be executed and at last the micro end statement is executed so in this way we create the local expansion time variables and the global expansion time variables after seeing the concept can you tell me expansion time variables are used the options are before expansion of micro calls only during the expansion of micro calls after expansion of the micro calls or any one of the above pause the video and think about it expansion time variables are used only during the expansion of micro calls these are the references 
थैंक यू